We've all heard the story of the barn find. Someone opens up an old barn or some other building and find a forgotten car, which is worth a fortune. But what if there was something bigger than a barn find? What if a lot of cars were forgotten or lost, all at once, in the same place, and found again later? Here are three cases where cars were found just like this. First on our list, we have a story that first appeared in October of 2011. Over 100 Chrysler Neons were found, seemingly forgotten, in a warehouse in Singapore. All of the cars were right-hand drive and were built in 1997. Several different companies tried to sell the Neons, either in one bundle for about $200,000 or individually for about $1,300 apiece. The exact number of cars found varied depending on who was trying to sell them, with the highest number being 150 and the lowest being 136. Either way, the cars would probably need new brakes, fluids, tires, and batteries, and after doing all that work, you'd still just have a 1997 Neon with no miles on the odometer. One of the companies that tried to sell the Neons advertised them as perfect for third world countries. Up next on our list, we have a smaller find with much more valuable cars. In January of 2019, 11 never-driven BMW 5 Series were found in a warehouse in Bulgaria. All of the cars were E34 Generation 5 Series, which were made from 1989 to 1996. Most of the cars in the warehouse were 520i sedans, but there are also a few 525i models and one wagon. There are a few stories for why these BMWs were in the warehouse. One says that they were part of a rental fleet but were never put in service. Another says these are leftover stock from a bankrupt dealer. A third story says they were set aside for a politician but were never used. Regardless, these cars were never registered and sat in a warehouse since new. None of these cars have any proper documentation, and they can't be registered as new cars, since they do not comply with modern emissions rules. So, anyone who tries to buy one of these cars may have to export them to another country to register them. According to several sources, the cars will go up for auction for 15,000 euros apiece, or about 17,000 US dollars. The final find on our list is the biggest and probably the most valuable. In 2005, 268 valuable antique cars were found, the largest collection of their kind. These cars were made in the late 1920s by the Nash Motors Company. These cars aren't in a warehouse, or a barn, or a museum. They were discovered 450 feet beneath the surface of Lake Michigan. On a foggy October 31st, 1929, the SS Senator was carrying these cars, some below deck, some on deck. The Senator collided with another ship and quickly sank, with some lives lost. It wasn't until 2005 that the wreck of the Senator was discovered and mapped by an ROV. The cars that were on deck are scattered on the lake bottom around the wreck, but the cars below deck are still chained in place in three rows. The cars were noted to be in good condition, possibly because the Great Lakes are fresh water, not salt water. But it is unlikely that any of these cars will be raised to the surface, since they're at a depth of 450 feet, and the wreck of the Senator has been added to the National Register of Historic Places.